Welcome back. On this video, I'll show you how to fix the problem of twerp recovery, not being able to see, not being able to recognize the backup file that you created on a different phone. So let's say you have two phones, you created a backup on one phone, and you are trying to restore it, and the twerp does not see it. So first thing first, let's go to mount, and make sure this is unchecked. Uncheck it. If it's checked, you will not be able to um, do anything on the system so let's go back once that it's unchecked let's go to advanced file manager and you are going to see a bunch of stuff here what we're looking for is two folders SD card and SD card one if you created if you if you put the twerp recovery folder into an external micro SD card it will be under SD card one if you put the twerp on the phone's internal memory it will be under SD card I put mine under SD card the internal internal memory so I'm gonna open the SD card and there it is I open twerp I open backups this folder and there it is I have the backup file but the twerp cannot see it and the reason it cannot see is because on this phone the second phone twerp looks for a folder named after this phone's serial number when you do a backup with twerp it creates a folder named after the phone's serial number and puts the backup in it so what you're seeing right now this this random 6324 whatever that is the serial number of the other phone okay so twerp does not recognize this that's why it cannot see it so we have to rename this folder after this phone's serial number but we don't know what this phone's serial number is to to find out we have to create an experimental backup which will create a second folder with this phone's folder with this phone's serial number as the folder title so we go back and we create a backup of just anything you don't have to do a full system backup I choose the tiny EFS, only 3 megabytes, just the EFS, nothing else. This is an experimental backup so we can see what the folder name is. We swipe, we do the backup, we go back, we go back again, we go back to advanced file manager, and now under SD card tour backups we have two folders. This is where the real backup is and this is what we just created. This, my friend, is the serial number of this phone. So we have to rename this one after this. Alright, so grab a piece of paper, write the serial number down, and we no longer need this second folder, it was experimental. So we're going to open it, and then on the below, we're going to touch the blue icon, and then delete make sure you're deleting the correct folder do not accidentally delete the backup backup slash serial number okay we go ahead and delete that back and now we are back to our original situation with the serial number of the old folder so go ahead and open that and the blue icon and this time we're going to choose rename Okay, make sure you're renaming the correct folder. Do not accidentally rename the folder named backup. Okay, so it's 748F3 B5 2 Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, okay, that sucks. Rename folder. Let's try again. I'm gonna put the camera down. Seven four eight F three D five two. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. Now that you have the correct serial number press the blue button and verify again that you're renaming the serial number folder not the backups itself if 
you do that, nothing will work. Swipe to confirm. Now, let's see. Now we have a folder named after this phone serial and inside we have the actual backup. Now let's go all the way back and this time when we open restore it will recognize the an Android backup and when you do the backup you will be able to do it without errors because earlier we went to mount and we made sure that the partition the system partition can be modified that is it thanks for watching